Okay, so after installing Kali Linux, we're going to proceed to installing the second machine in our lab. So the second machine is going to be Metasploitable. Metasploitable is another Kali, it's another Linux machine. You can think of it as the opposite to Kali. So Kali is designed so that you can use it to hack into other devices. Metasploitable is designed so that you hack into it. So it's designed for people who want to learn penetration testing. It is designed so that it has a number of vulnerabilities and we're gonna try to uh, use Kali Linux in order to hack into Metasploitable. So this is gonna be one of the target or victim machines. You can download this from the following link. You will end up with a zip file like this one. So, uh, sorry, not this one, like this one. So once you uncompress it, you'll get this directory, double click it and you'll see the following files. So we're gonna create a new machine here in virtual machine and I'm gonna call it Metasploitable. And this is going to be a Linux machine. And I'm gonna hit continue. And I'm only gonna give it a gigabyte of RAM, should be enough. And then I'm gonna use, remember with Kali Linux, we created a new virtual hard disk. With this, we're gonna use an existing one. The reason for that is because the image that we have right now is actually, it's designed for VMware player. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the hard, the hard disk file or the hard disk image in here so that we're gonna have an already installation without having to install it the way we installed Kali Linux. So we're just gonna use an existing virtual hard disk file and I'm just gonna navigate to select what it is. I'm gonna go into the Metasploitable directory and I'm gonna select the .vmdk file. So it's this file right here. I'm gonna click on open and create. So we're gonna start this machine right now. Okay, so the machine has run now, it's completely installed. As I said, you don't really need to install anything. We just imported a ready installation, a ready hard disk. So it's asking me for the username and the username is msf admin. And the password is the same, so it's msf admin as well. And as we can see now, we logged in. Now this is only, this machine only has a terminal uh, as you can see right now. And it's giving you a warning that you should never expose this machine to ex external internet connection because it is a vulnerable machine. It is designed to be vulnerable. Now, right now it's only inside our lab. It's only uh, installed as a virtual machine. So literally nobody outside our lab can access it. So this is a really good way of using it. Now this is it, the machine is installed. As I said, in the future, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna try and hack into this machine. Again, don't be intimidated by the terminal. We're gonna be using it a lot and we're gonna learn how to use it step by step. So at the moment, just we have this installed and we're gonna move on to the next step and we will talk about this once we actually need to use it in the future. So if you wanna turn off this machine, all you have to do is just type in power off and hit enter. And it's telling you that you need to be root. So uh, again, I'll talk about this later. For now, sudo power off. So just run the command like this. And it's asking you for the admin password. And that's it, it's going off now. And here we go, the machine is off.